Hi everyone. So a message from Father Augustine this morning. Keep praying. Never give up. <laughs> I thought it was so beautiful. And he reminded us of um, God does not care about our success, but about our faithfulness. And I just thought that was a fantastic reminder for, for, any, for anyone who needed to hear that today. Always keep praying. And Nicole is going to be praying with us this morning. Um, and she's from the Salty Catholic. Good morning. Hi, everyone. I have a full house. I was hoping my parents or my brothers would jump in, but they're in the other room. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Um, let's see. There's Nicole here. Good morning. Hi, Katie. Mom. My mom is joining from the other room. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Vivian. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Hopefully she'll be able to join our intention for today. Oh, Nicole. Good morning. Good morning. I, like, that was immediate. Normally it's like <laughs> 30 <laughs> seconds and I just keep rambling. I'm so glad you could join. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes, no, I was just about to share our prayer intentions uh, for today um, from Jennifer um, Oh, with deep sorrow. Uh, can we request a prayer intention for her brother, uh, Jeffrey? He was killed um, yesterday. So we want to pray for the repose of his soul and uh, for his family and just everyone. And then from Liz, we want to include her father, Dr. Rodriguez, in the prayers. Um, he passed away last evening so Monday night um he is loved missed and may God bless him and keep him in prayer. so prayers for them and then also we want to pray for the repose of the soul of Father John Mark um a priest from northern Nigeria uh, who was abducted and killed this week so a lot of heavy heavy prayer intentions and we just want to cover them in prayer and lift them up and just pray for um pray for all and then we're gonna pray for everyone here and all of your intentions um both spoken and unspoken. Nicole, is there anything you'd like to pray for? Um, for my father's soul, he passed away a year and a half ago. For my friend Sam, um, she had a loss recently. Um, and for families that have been separated because of COVID, that they can come back together and life can return to normal for everyone. Absolutely. Absolutely. Amen. All right. Well, we'll just get started. Let's go. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from whence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity, we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection. Do not be amazed, you seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised, he is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. 
Dear Mother Mary, we place in your heart today all who have died, especially our family members and loved ones. Lord Jesus, you endured the fullness of suffering, mockery, and death, but on the third day you rose again. Through Mary's intercession, have mercy upon our dearly departed and bring them with you into the light of paradise forever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The second glorious mystery is the Ascension. As he blessed them, he parted from them, and was taken up to heaven. Dear Mother Mary, we place in your heart today all missionaries who preach and minister in foreign lands. Lord Jesus, may those who hear your word find the gift of faith and so come to receive the glorious new life you desire for all. Through Mary's intercession, may we have the hope of always being with you, both here and in eternity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The third, um, the third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Dear Mother Mary, we place in your heart today our Holy Father and all bishops, successors of the apostles. Lord Jesus, please bless all those preparing to receive the fullness of your Holy Spirit. Through Mary's intercession, please fill us with the fire of your Holy Spirit, that he may guide us into all truth, fill our souls with love, and anoint us to bring your kingdom to the world. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, <clears throat> full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption of Mary. 
If we have died with him, we shall also live with him. If we persevere, we shall also reign with him. Dear Mother Mary, you were taken into heaven to live forever, body and soul, with your Son. We place in your heart today the sick and the dying. Lord Jesus, through Mary's intercession, we pray for the grace of a happy death, that we may live in heaven with God and all the blessed forever, where all things are made new. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, <clears throat> the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of Mary. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. Dear Mother Mary, your yes to the angel Gabriel set in motion the events of our salvation, leading to our final victory in Christ. We place in your heart today the needs of the church throughout the world. Lord Jesus, help us to love Mary and to stay close to her forever as she faith faithfully leads us to you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn them, most gracious advocate, the eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, by your only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. And Nicole, do you want to lead the St. Michael prayer? Uh, sure. Okay. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Do thou, Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. amen. So, Nicole, I was, like, so excited to uh, to talk to you because, and I thought my sister would be here, but it, 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 she's, she needed to um, sh catch up on something. But anyways, because I love your what you talk about. You talk about humility in confession. <laughs> oh, you don't find very many people who want to talk about themselves. So, so. Oh, I love but, it. <laughs> um, but first, we always love to ask about your experience with the rosary and how it's, you know, maybe transformed or helped you on your journey or walk with Christ. Um, so I would say more than with the rosary in general, my relationship with Mary has been um, life-changing because I, it was, gosh, in 2018, um, a friend of mine asked me to do the consecration oh, and I Mary. said, yeah, yeah, it was the, we, we started with the 33 days to morning glory and halfway through that, um, there was a healing mass at a parish that was in my city okay. and, um, we went for one specific purpose, but father kept saying throughout the mass to ask the Holy Spirit and to ask Mary for what you actually need healing from. And I just couldn't get rid of like this nagging thought of, no, this is really what you need healing from. And it was just past wounds, you know, mm -hmm. and, um, I just knelt there. It was the three hours that we were there. And I just knelt there like sobbing the entire time. And um, I won't go into too much detail about it all, but it was, it was a truly he healing experience. And Mary was the one that led me to the mass. 
And then from that, um, I ended up asking that priest to be my spiritual director. And um, we, we had, gosh, I think it was about a year and a half until he got moved to parishes. Um, and he actually did a really beautiful um, ceremony with just me and my friend for the, um, for consecration. And it was something I'll never forget. It was just absolutely beautiful. And then um, throughout this whole process, I truly began to understand what it means um, to say to Jesus through Mary, Mm -hmm. because I had, Jesus just felt so distant to me. And um, to have his mother take my hand, I'm very visual. So when I pray, I often close my eyes and I try to like envision the scene of what's happening. Mm -hmm. And there's so many times, it's always on a beach. I'm always on a beach with Jesus. (laughs) So, (laughs) so I, I close my eyes and all of a sudden I just feel this soft motherly hand, just the like skin, like velvet, just take my hand and I look up and it's Mary and she's doing, you know, like this and, and Mm -hmm. taking me and, and I follow her and she places my hand in her son's hand. And, um, it's just Mary will take you to her son and everything changes after that. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I think it was in 2020 then it was right before COVID hit in December. um, I became enrolled in the Brown scapular and I don't ever take it off now. I used to try to hide it, but it would get Uh like, it would get like all tangled and everything. (laughs) And now I just nod it and it stays right here. And people ask me all the time, like, what is that Brown necklace you have on? And there's so many times that... How did you that... nod it? Oh, that's another question. I'll ask that later. So please keep going. <laughs> okay. Um, so I just... Sometimes I get I get um, brain fog and I'm just like, oh, Mary's just going to keep me from going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, oh, um, okay. And I'm, I'm like, well, there's really a better explanation for it, but I'll get back to you on that <laughs> because I just get <laughs> so stumbled. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's kind of just like the most basic explanation you can give, you know? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So that's. Yeah. (laughs) No, it's okay. So that I mean, that's Mary. I for most of my adult life, I just turned forty this year, and for the majority of my adult life, all of these people would always say, oh, I'm so close to Mary. And I never understood it um, until, until the, the consecration. And reading that book, uh, mm-hmm. it was an eye opener for me to understand more about her. And then the following year when I, when I did it again um, on the anniversary, I did um, St. Louis de Montfort's version. And... It's right beautiful. Yeah. It's just, it's so beautiful. And uh, I, I think for people that are first starting out, if you don't have a great basic knowledge of consecration or Mary, um, the 33 days to morning glory was yes. really, ba- it's kind of more basic. So it mm-hmm. kind of gives you like a, uh, a basis. And then um, to do St. Louis de Montfort's version the following year, I like leading up to the anniversary and you reconsecrate yourself every year. Mm-hmm. It was just such a beautiful way to do it. And I take no credit for it. That was all Mary. <laughs> She's mm-hmm. like, okay, time to do this one now. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I love how you, you mentioned that though, because um, the 33 days to morning glory, I think is so fantastic of kind of bring like if you're not familiar and you're kind of mm-hmm. like what is go-? I feel like he does such a great job of, yeah. of bringing you closer and bringing you in and, and bringing you you know you know just yeah I his his descriptions and each day were just so helpful mm-hmm. and um but St. Louis de Montfort like that one's pretty intense <laughs> I mean yeah. it's beautiful it's so beautiful but I think like um you have to have some basic knowledge yes, yes, and because, understanding of it because the yeah. theology is really deep. And there was some of it that I still don't understand, but I'm like, it's okay. In time, I will, if I meant to. Yes, yes, <laughs> exactly. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, it's a book. It's um, Vivian. It's uh, is it True Devotion to Mary? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, this this one, God Alone, like is a compilation. I think of all of his Saint Louis de Montfort's writings. Like he, oh, wow. he's my he's my um saint that that kind of stalks me, and I'm like, he's one of those saints, and I'm like. But I can't do that. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> it's just so funny. Um, yeah, no. And another thing you mentioned about uh, the scapular, I think when people were asking kind of about it, it it's it's basically, um, I loved your definition. <laughs> it's it's kind of a uh, an acknowledgement or there's a whole book. Someone posted really great was that you about information about it but it also is a sign of your of your consecration to her mm -hmm. I thought yeah too. so yeah yeah so beautiful um I wanted to ask you um because um about confession okay um because it's something that like we don't really talk well I always bring it up but you don't really hear people talk about it right do you think no. like in the lady and I wanted to ask about your experience with it and I wanted to also offer encouragement to those who have been away from it from a very long time but they're feeling called but they're very scared you know yeah. like and even even so much as they will say why can't I just go directly to God God already knows I mean he knows me better than I know myself you know and um and trying to encourage and walk them through that so I just I love to hear other people's perspectives so I used to be that person okay and, <laughs> um I knew the Holy Spirit was working <laughs> You start to you start to realize that the root of that belief is just pride mm. because we don't want to admit our sins to anyone and we think we look at a, we look at priests and think they're they're already saints yes. and I don't want to tell them all of my horrible sins yes. and Every I day. think for me it was it was getting to know certain priests um on a more personal level that you start to realize they're human too. And then hearing them say like, no, it, it's actually a grace from God that the majority of priests don't even remember mm -hmm. what somebody tells them in confession. And I personally started to learn that when I went through spiritual direction, because we would couple it, we'd start with confession and then go into spiritual direction. And God bless this priest he would spend three hours with me like once a month and I would just sit there and just, just like, oh my gosh, it was, wow. he was amazing. What a gift. I, yes. I cried and cried when he had to move parishes and he's two hours away now. <clears throat> Excuse me. So as we would sit there month after month and then the following month, I would bring up something that I had confessed the month before and he'd go, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't remember. And that's when it started to click with me that like, no, they're just there. They're thrilled that you're there for confession. They are so happy because they're helping you get to heaven now. Like confession is, it's kind of like taking, taking the, the Amtrak, like the fastest route <laughs> to heaven is confession. And really, so my post yesterday, which I think is part of what you're, you're kind of getting to also is humility and surrender. And um, confession is really the gateway to that because yes. if you can humble yourself enough to get to confession and confess your sins, then you're also learning to surrender to what God wants for us, which really he wants us to be free of all of these sins and he wants to give us the, these graces, these abundant graces in the sacrament of confession. Oh, I lost you. I hope you come back. There we go. There. Yeah. Okay. I have a time limit set on my phone oh. for Instagram <laughs> and it, it went off. I was like, no, oh, no. I turn it off. <laughs> okay. Um, where was I? So, humility and surrender and confession and really when we when we go to confession it is the ultimate form of humility mm -hmm. and understanding that God gave us this sacrament and so we're saying I trust you and I'm laying myself in in your hands through your priest and it's just the three of them are, are really the path to heaven. And 
there's, there's no other way. You can't get to heaven if you're not humble. And that's, that's it. Absolutely. I, I will never forget. There was a priest. He was so wonderful. All of them have been so wonderful, but he spoke out about confession and saying, um, and I, you guys have probably heard this before, but how um, one of his favorite sacraments or one of his favorite parts of being a priest is confession. Mm -hmm. And that when that person does return and, um, you know, and, and confesses and all he thinks is victory, victory, mm -hmm. and all of heaven is rejoicing, all the saints and angels, they're literally like jumping up and down, dancing and, and so happy. And I just, I don't know if that, because I think I'm visual as well. And um, just knowing that you just have this, you know, this, this community and these, everyone is just, you know, they want what's best for you. Yeah. And, um, and uh, yeah, I think I loved, I loved how you said it, it takes humility, you know, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> to step forward. Um, yes. And I, how, I guess that's a great segue into humility. Um, cause I think it's so beautiful. <laughs> I love humility of heart. I'm like, I'm surprised I don't have it right next to me, but I love, I love, <laughs> I love that book. And I was like, Oh my God. It's awesome. When I, whenever, um, you know, most people I never see have that book, but it's, it's amazing and fantastic. Um, <clears throat> but how has that helped you or how have you been practicing in the day to day to kind of be more humble and, you know, um, oh, I think man. that's what we all need. We all need that truth. God is God. God is a great God. And yeah. That book is, oh man, I, it is, um, <laughs> whew, it's life changing. So I love it because it's just this tiny little book mm -hmm. and it's broken down into, it's really broken down, I think, into like four chapters or sections, mm -hmm. but each, each page is kind of like a, its own individual little chapter. So it's kind of like a page to a page and a half. And when I opened it, it wasn't what I thought. It, I just thought it would be like a normal book. Uh, but I looked at it and I thought, you know what? I think I'm going to take one little section each day with my morning meditation. And I had no idea what I was in store for. <laughs> <laughs> because you start to, so I, I should I back up a little bit. My last spiritual direction that I went to, um, I had asked my priest to help me uncover my root sin so that I can work on the opposite of that sin of, and, and that virtue and really root it out and just eliminate it. And it was really cool because I thought it was one thing and he immediately was like, no, it's pride. And I'm like, Oh, okay. <laughs> like, well, there's my first dose of humility. <laughs> Don't we all need that? In the three root sins, it's, isn't it pride? I sensual. I can't remember the other mm -hmm. one. I can't I either. I know. Uh, yeah. And but it's, he was, he was great because he said, um, the devil will try to trick you into thinking it's something that it's not, but probably 85% of the people that I see it's pride, especially in women. Um, okay. And I was like, Oh wow. Okay. And so I had, I already bought the book humility of heart from tan when they had their $5 monthly sales, you know, cause it's in this, it's in the $5 sale, like almost all the time. And they're oh, always, when is that? We need to, <laughs> Every month, every month they have different books for their $5 sales. People keep telling me I should be like an affiliate through them because I'm always really talking should. about how great they are. I'm like, is no, no, I just, I just want people to read it. <laughs> uh, all month long. The beginning of every month they put a new list out. It's, okay. it's awesome. So this book, though, Thanks, Caroline. I came home and I'm like, okay, where's that book? And so I, I get it off my shelf. And the next morning I start reading it. And it was like instantaneous. It's like a knife to your heart of pride. And you're like, okay, I need to keep reading this. Mm -hmm. And some of the ones that I, I'm probably going to mess this up, but some of the, some of the points that hit me the most are when you're offended by something that somebody does or says to you, or your feelings get hurt. Really, the root of that is pride because uh, you're saying um, my feelings matter more than something that I may have done to offend you when really it, it, was, it was me that, that caused it. It was my pride um, or understanding. And this is where like humility and surrender kind of come together mm -hmm. is understanding that if somebody does something 
then that was not necessarily God's will, but God allowed it to happen. Mm -hmm. And maybe he allowed that to happen to help you grow in humility and surrender. And it's a really hard pill to swallow to understand that. But it's been really life changing. And it's something I'm constantly working on. Mm -hmm. And so Stephanie Burke from um, the Avila Institute, Catholic Spiritual Direction. I, I just absolutely love the Burks. So they, they did a podcast and Stephanie talked about root sin being pride for her. And one of the things that she struggled with because she was a principal and a teacher was giving people advice all the time when they didn't necessarily ask for it. And so she, one of the ways that she was rooting out pride was by saying, I'm not going to give advice to anyone unless they ask me for it, no matter how much I think, well, I could really help this person. She would pray that to God that if if she is meant to give that advice to the person, then they will come and ask her for it. Otherwise, she needs to understand that she's just being prideful and stop giving that advice. And I was like, oh, man, that's that yeah. tends to be me a lot. <laughs> and yeah. so that's something that I've been working on. Um, pride is just the beast it really oh. is and i i always thought my root sin was sensuality vanity was the other one that i could yes think of. yes and people were sharing i was like oh that's perfect and <laughs> i think um and they said if you don't know always go to pride because basically yeah that's, and um, well, it's the root of all sin anyways i mean mm-hmm. it's what made lucifer fall yes yes and i always wonder like practically like in your day-to-day has there been certain practices that have helped? I mean, I loved how you said you did your morning prayer, you know, with, with humility of heart. I think that's, I'm going to try and do that now because I'm like, that's a great idea. I love divine intimacy as well. Um, Mm -hmm. And, but it's, it's so like, because when you said feelings get hurt, absolutely. Like that's, I do that all the time. I'm like, why? why And um, I just, I love hearing your, because I think it's so relatable, the perspective of how you kind of combat that throughout the day and making sure you're, you know, putting yeah. God first and everything. Um, but it's never, to me, never just a natural response. I'm like, do we ever just have that natural response? <laughs> no, it, it's it's a slow process. I mean, oh, sometimes I'm, I'm just, I pray every morning. Um, I can't remember which priest it was. Uh, I love podcasts. I listen to him like, all the time. Catholic podcast, pretty much exclusively. Um, (laughs) And there was one that I was listening to that he, I was Father Ripperger. Of course, Father Ripperger. He said for Lent one year, um, if you do nothing else, just pray every day for your guardian angel to humiliate you interiorly so that you could grow in humility. And he's like, and then just wait for it. And I'm like, ooh. And I'm telling you, so every day in my morning prayer, guardian angel, humiliate me interiorly. And it'll happen. It'll definitely happen. You'll just be like going about your day. And for example, my husband is sitting over here listening. Um, He'll come home. He'll come home and I'll be like, look at how clean the house is. Wasn't dinner so good? And then like immediately in my head, I hear, stop being prideful. Stop wanting recognition (laughs) for the things that you've done. Um, Just sit there. And if they say dinner was great, then you can take the compliment. But don't ask for it. Don't fish for it because that's pride. And I'm like, oh, man. (laughs) (laughs) So it's things like that that'll come along and you start to realize like Mm -hmm. this, you know, guardian angels are really there and they will help you get to heaven if you allow them to oh they will they yeah will. my mind always tends to wake me up like hey hey gotta go, mm-hmm. gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> or or you need to be praying yeah it's just it's it's so amazing um okay i'm sorry i'm keeping you so long. okay um, no i'm the last the, this is a great question uh, caroline um it, do you, favorite podcast let's go with top five Oh man, oh, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, top three. Yeah, no. Divine intimacy is probably my favorite with Dan and Stephanie. Yes, um, they're awesome. They are Bob, awesome. Father Dave Nix has a great one, and he is. Um, I haven't he, heard that one. Oh, he's awesome. So if you're into Latin Mass, traditional Catholicism, 
Um, he's a very big promoter of that. But he has, I believe it's three different series that he does on his podcast. One is called VLX, so it's Video Lexio Divina. Okay. Um, and then he kind of rotates between other things that he does. Uh, one that he just started is going over the Catechism of the Council of Trent. And it's awesome because he'll go over parts of it and then he explains it. And each podcast episode is maybe like 20 minutes, I think. Oh, okay. um, oh so not super long. No, not, it's not super long at all. And he's just great the way that he explains things. And he doesn't pull any punches. He's just like straight for the jugular of... <laughs> Kind this like is Tyler how Ripinger. it needs to be. Like, yeah. Stop yeah. being an idiot. <laughs> yeah, basically. And uh, it's, it's great. So those are two of my favorite ones that I, that I like actively search out and look for. Um, and then Dan's son, Jordan Burke, he yes, has a Jordan. podcast. Yeah. Do the harder thing. And he doesn't update it regularly, but he has some real gems on there. So he's done a couple of them with, Father Matthew McDonald, and they're just incredible. So if people are looking for like an hour long podcast, if you're on a long drive or mopping the floors, I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's, doing? But I would suggest getting a notebook because some of the ones that he has with Father Matthew are like, you want to take notes because they're great. He had one in particular that talked about... Um, the four gospel writers and which one you relate to the most because they each have like such different, I can't remember. This was like a year ago, I think maybe not that long ago, but it was, it was really, really good. So I would suggest looking that one up too. Um, off the top of my head, I'm trying to remember. I have so many. I'll, if I, I have on my highlight, I have okay. a podcast. Oh, like, okay. Uh, on my high, because I try to try to share with people like this one was really great and it goes back probably like three years. So, okay. But my favorite is definitely divine intimacy and then father Dave Nix. And I think his is called Padre Peregrino possibly. I, yeah. That's what someone said in the comments. Yes. They, they, um, that's, those are amazing. I'll have to look those up. I, I was aware of the Jordan and, yeah. and then Stephanie and Dan, but, um, Yeah. I wasn't aware of Father Dave Nix. It's awesome. It's a really I, good one. One I've been into lately is Poco Poco by the Franciscans. But They're so funny. I love, love them. They, they, I'm like one of those that has the premiere, like, okay, they, like today came out one and I think it was Letting God Love You or something. It's yes. just amazing. Like, that's another one. Um, so good. I, Father Mark Mary and like, yeah, they're amazing. Um, just enjoy them so much. So, mm -hmm. and, and it, and I, it's like, you really want to get this out there because it, it's so fantastic to kind of, I feel like our environments form us. So you mm -hmm. really want, and I feel like these, these podcasts provide such a fantastic kind of environment, you know what I mean? Yeah. Versus like other things like that. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's so true. I mean, I, I'll be folding laundry and listening to podcasts, doing dishes, listening to podcasts, vacuuming, and I put on my noise canceling headphones and I'm listening <laughs> to podcasts or going out to weed the garden, listening to podcasts or driving around. I mean, yeah. they're great because they're so convenient. And uh, so I did um, um, Father Mike Schmidt's The Bible in a Year. Yes. And one tip that I had for this one um, that I learned I, I was praying like, how can I listen to this on repeat without, because on iTunes it plays like in reverse. So you can't get it to play in order from like one to two, two to three. It plays like three, two, one instead. And you're like, no, 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 that's not the order I need. So if you have Amazon Prime, Prime Music is free. And then on Prime Music, the app, they have a podcast section and he's on there and you can actually click to play it in the other order. So it'll, I, I guess that would be playing it in reverse order. Um, or maybe it's, I don't, I don't know. I can't. I just, I just noticed on Apple when I, w I started, it wouldn't play in order. I, d I yeah. don't know. And then like, for it's me, I kind of have to start it and like, I'm running around the house and everything. So I don't mm -hmm. like, and um, <laughs> I'm so glad you mentioned that. Cause I was like, yes. I always thought it was just me and I did something wrong, but I didn't want to take the time to figure out 
Apple no, Pop it has. just won't play in the, the order that you want it to. So yes. if you, if you use, if you have Amazon music for, through prime, um, it's free and you can listen to it on there and you can actually find the option. I might have that saved in my podcast highlight too, but oh. you can, you can go through there and it'll play in the correct order. So it was great. Cause like one day I listened to it for like eight hours straight yes. and it just played all the way through without having to go on my phone, stop what I'm doing and scroll yeah. through to find, especially when you're on like episode 200, you're like, <laughs> I have to scroll through all of these to find the right one. I know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, yeah. that's great. That's great advice. Thanks, Nicole. No like, problem. <laughs> and then uh, people were saying, this is really helping my pride. <laughs> I, oh, my dad's saying my dad in the other room. He's like, Jill, it plays in ascending order. <laughs> <laughs> and I, bottom, I, I promise I started on <laughs> but other people were saying too I didn't know this and um the Halo app has it as well I didn't okay I no idea yeah yeah, yeah it's so fun thank you sorry to you're welcome it was wonderful no yeah. I'm fine yeah I'm in no hurry I'm just <laughs> I just have an appointment in an hour and a half to go see my physical therapist slash trainer so oh wow wow yeah. okay yeah. um I uh, the last question. Okay, I said the last one was the last question. The, I really mean it this time. But, <laughs> uh, it just popped up. The spiritual director. You mm -hmm. mentioned you had one. Do you still have one now? I do. So okay. the one that I have now, um, we, I go to a parish um, during the week that has the Latin mass. And that priest is, so he's definitely more traditional minded. Yes. And he's awesome. So I go see him for spiritual direction and confession and it's nice. Um, so back to, back to the mayor, I'm, I'm not jumping around. I'm, I'm getting to a point. Here. <laughs> no, you're fine. Um, Mary is more gentle than if you ask God, like for instance, if you say, God, I want to suffer for the kingdom or I want mm -hmm. to suffer for my past sins. If you ask God for that, it's going to be really, really painful. Mm -hmm. um, but if you ask Mary, she's your mother. And so she's going to be much more gentle with it. And so when I started going to confession and spiritual direction, and I had asked Mary to kind of help me with this path, she led me to Father Phil, who was very, very gentle and just so patient and so kind. And it just listened and listened and he would pray over me and give me just advice that wasn't like harsh. And so I think it's been three, four years now. Um, we grow and we change if we allow God to help us do that. And the spiritual director that I have now, he's not so gentle, and <laughs> <laughs> but it's what I need right mm -hmm. now. And so I think that's where we have to understand when you're looking for a spiritual director, you really need to find one for your current state in life spiritually, because that makes a difference. And same thing with a confessor, you know, you go to a couple of his masses and listen to his homilies and see, because that'll really tell you a lot about how they'll also be in the confessional. If they're giving homilies that are hard hitters, they're probably not going to take it too easy on you in the confessional or in spiritual direction because they want you to be on the fast path to heaven. Right. Um, I mean, unless you're like Padre Pio who can like read a soul and understand this person is a sinner, but they also need to be beat with a gentle stick, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it's, it's funny how Mary really will help you. So just, mm -hmm keep praying to her and asking her for guidance on that and she'll help you. She'll get you there. It may take, was it, I think St. Teresa of Avila was it um, 18 years she searched for a spiritual director. I, I might have the story wrong. Um, I think it was a long time. I always, I think for us or for people like me, I'm always like, how do you find the spiritual director? Yeah. I don't even know how you approach that. Um, it's, I, I, I don't, yeah. Do you have any, like, do you just ask? Do you... So Catholic Spiritual Direction, um, they're on here. They have an amazing blog. That's actually Dan and Stephanie Burke that run that. Okay. They have an incredible website. They're in the process right now of creating a, um, a system for people to find spiritual directors through them. I don't think it's fully 
finished yet. Um, but in the meantime, I honestly would say go to your priest. And if the your priest that you have at your parish isn't exactly what you're looking for, then go to neighboring parishes and sit in on a daily mass, sit mm-hmm. on, a, on, on a Sunday mass and, and just to see if their personality kind of um, gels with you and ask to make an appointment and they may tell you I'm too busy. And so it wasn't meant to be. Yeah. It's, if, it, if they say no, then it wasn't meant to be. They're not supposed to be your spiritual director, but have an appointment with them first before you just jump right in. And my first spiritual director, he actually asked me to say a novena to the Holy Spirit and he was doing one too. So I had had confession with him and then I asked will you be my spiritual director? And he said, I don't jump right into these things unless knowing this is meant to be. So let's both say a novena to the Holy Spirit, email me in nine days and we'll see. And so I emailed him and he's like, we're good to go. And I was like, great, I'm good to go too. <laughs> Um, so they, you know, like everybody, dating. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's, you're, it, it, it's, this is really like your path to heaven. It's, it, spiritual direction is so important. Mm-hmm. And is it necessary to get to heaven? No, but it can help you. That's for sure. Yeah. I mean, here I was thinking that my root sin was something completely different than <laughs> what it actually is. And, five minutes in, in his office with him. And I'm like, okay, okay. I get it now. Yes. 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 Yeah. That, um, yeah, that is, that's so helpful. I think it just, it's such great advice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so mm-hmm. much for, for joining us and praying and just sharing everything. It was, it was beautiful. Oh, so well, thank you so much for having yeah. me. I was so nervous to do this. And now I'm just like, Oh, this was fun. <laughs> <laughs> you were fantastic. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, I hope everybody has a great Wednesday. <laughs> Thanks you too. Okay. Thank you everybody for joining us. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>